Okay, so this another three minute game and super blitz. So we push through the center and the opponent pushed through and then the queen came down. At this point here, we can now look to obviously simplify and simply cap go for an attempt and a capture of the queen. So keeping everything simple and straightforward, looking at the simplified version that we do have for the answer process, which is looking at our position first, then looking at any potential checks, captures, threats, support, blocking, and then back to the position again, if anything. Um, just really trying to nail those basics off as best possible. Those are the things that give you the choices um, in, within our mantra. Uh, the normal type of statement is like your checks, frets and captures or checks, captures, frets um, I don't know if they put blocking in there or position but I've not seen anywhere that they do that but we've added that to our mantra based on our experience so we then come through and put a check on the king obviously knowing that either that can come and defend the pawn can come down, that can come down even the queen could if they were being kind of crazy or that knight could come across there to defend or it could just move the king so there's loads of options there out of that one particular maneuver so in essence i'm comfortable with bringing it back if i had to if i decided to or capturing a piece not the pawn but capturing a piece then again you could capture the pawn because it could just disturb the area around their king if you were that way inclined i'm not saying that that's the best move but you could attempt to do those types of things just as a practice to see if you can make it work for yourself because it's the shock factor but obviously I'm not looking at doing that in this game so they bring the bishop through so we take the bishop off the ball and then we castle king safety and then they move the knight I mean the rule about moving pieces the same piece twice and all that sometimes works sometimes it is a disadvantage but looking at the tail of the tape on this I'm not that greatly developed I can't really take advantage of too much at the minute but I do believe that that was like a 0.2 of a 10p win for myself so we bring the bishop through now x ray through to the queen as usual the bishop comes and defends or the pawn comes down and pushes so I'm waiting to respond to that type of um, movement so they do actually bring the bishop through so it gives us a bit of a moment to bring the knight up um, because it's a three minute game, being dynamic is the key thing. I think I mentioned that before. Um, you can't really sit back and sort of wait, you know, like in a longer play game. You, you have to do moves that maybe, they, they're not even actually doing anything, but there's the threat of something. I mean, this is a small threat of attacking this, but realistically, am I gonna take this? Is it improving my position by coming here? Well, the knight's coming here. Is it going here? You know, is it blocking this area off? What what is its intention? Is it actually coming back around again to attack the knight? Interesting situation, but maybe that's not a good thing. So realistically, what was that knight doing? To me, it was just a forward motion, but it all depended on what the opponent did next. So they castled. So now we brought our queen through onto this onto this off of the line for the queen obviously looking for the rook to face their queen gauge bar doesn't like that i felt fairly comfortable with that situation then they pushed the pawn down onto the our pawn i didn't really know what that was so we thought well let's just simply take it off we're really wanting to open our rook to face the queen pretty simple straightforward stuff so the bishop does actually capture so we bring the rook across facing the queen Knight jumps into the centre and again we can just simply capture because his knight really he can take but then the bishop's going to take here so it might be that the pawn has to take. So now we can look to double up on the pawn because it's, we still got this annoying bishop on their queen. So the queen moves off of the annoying pin so we take the knight off the board now so that we can double the pawn but then really the queen's probably going to take. If they take then we can take the pawn here we're on the bishop. So it's a sort of like kaleidoscope of activity kicking off. So they do take with the queen, so we take the pawn with our queen and the rook comes to defend. Didn't think they were going to do that, I thought they were going to bring a rook here attacking, but anyway, 
and just let the bishop go. Uh, so the knight jumps down and at this point here, this was where, as I did the knight move myself, I said, I've just missed something there. I've just missed gold, you know? All I had to do was go here with the knight. I'm on the queen, I'm on the rook. I mean, if his rook comes here, we take the queen with a check on, on check, with a check on his um, king. So I missed absolute gold there. So I kicked myself when I moved it. I thought, oh, it's in the perfect position. Nobody had troubled it all that time. And all I had to do was jump it here. Eee, dear me. Anyway, so the queen moves down. So at this moment in time, I'm thinking, well, okay, the greedy munched a pawn on the other side of the board. This comes back again to the king being home alone. So instantly my brain went, hmm, okay. So his queen's gone to the other side of the board. His king is definitely home alone. Looks good when they've got the rook here defending, but the king is home alone. It's not got any other pieces towards its king area defending. So we look now to tantalize the rook coming across here with sights of attacking this pawn. The queen moves out of the way, grabbing another pawn, so now we grab. Gage Bar's not singing our praises at this moment in time, but we have got big fish to fry. We've got this angle here. How can we make that work for us? And the opponent makes it work for us, which I'm really glad for, you know, and it's really tempting because the queen is there. But obviously we just need to jump in, put a check on the king. There's nothing helping the king out whatsoever. The king is home alone. And that's one of the key things that we're trying to push forward in our own game is that try and make sure that your king isn't home alone as best possible when you're formulating your own attacks. You have to look on your back end and see what you're covering as best possible. So it was a bit of a shame that the opponent at the, at the dying ditch end of the game so then we've got a checkmate here so that was a really nice um, three minute game um, really quite testy during the mid game but again we looked at in trying to improve our position all the time um, putting pressure onto their queen onto a main piece and attacking where appropriate and making sure our king was safe and taking advantage of their king being home alone